In the bin bags. Where else? Can you get some? No, oh, can't you? I've got to go to London. Don't I don't have a second. You think I do? Jesus, the time. Oh, what time will you be back? They arrive around get four. The no idea. Why are they coming anyway? It's going to be a nightmare. A nightmare. Well, they're coming because it's the first Christmas in this house since Mum and Dad died. So maybe the last. I don't think I can survive three days with Trent. He's so damn pleased with himself. He's always trying to put me down in some not so subtle Easy. way. Not some front. People put other people down usually because they don't feel that great about themselves. Why don't you look at it that way? Well, I hope you told them what to expect. I don't want any complaints. I don't think they're expecting the Ritz down. Please don't be late. There's so much to do. God, I hate Christmas. The stress. The stress. Aren't you forgetting something? What? I'm Ah, VTech. Leak in our bedroom is really bad. Priority. No worries. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gobbles. This is the moment of truth. Stay <laughs> come on. <laughs> Please. Please. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's disgusting. Shit. Bloody frost got my sprout. Oh, no. What happened? Haven't you done it yet? What's the rush? I'll, I'll do it tonight when I'm back. For God's sake, you always leave everything to the last minute. I'll do it. Give me this No. Up. I don't want to be fucking the damn bird at midnight. I said I'll do it. The turkey's my department. I concentrate on the vegetables, if I were you. You better buy some sprouts while you're at it. And remember, we've got the village for drinks at seven. No, dobra. Here's some biscuits. Thanks. Can I borrow you? I just need some help with the Christmas tree. Dan says uh, fix leak. Priority. It won't take long. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Mm, this one's really nice. Mm, doesn't seem to be a, um, how much is it? 950 pounds. 
I'm not, I'm not sure it's quite what I'm looking for, man. Thanks. Yeah. Um, uh, how much is this necklace? Um, just a minute, let me check. It is 150 pounds. Oh, but I could do it for you for 130 for cash. Done. I'll take it. Get it. It's OK. I'm coming. I'm coming. Is this uh, Neverton House? Yes. Is that my cooker? Rather big, isn't it? Borrowed a CM Mark IV, it's what you ordered. Yeah. Just had a cancellation. A lovely 15 pounder. Last one in the shop. How much? For you, sir, 95 pounds. Right, okay. Hmm. Oh, not that one. Sorry. Some poor bastards about to have his car towed. And on Christmas Eve. That'll ruin your Christmas. Oh, God. Uh, are you going to bring it in? Hook it up? Sorry, love. I've been safe to. We've got 15 people coming for Christmas. I'm not sure to come in the house. I'll pay you. It's more than our job's worth. No! No! That's my car! Bastards! Bastards! Fitek! Sorry, can I borrow you for a minute? Through my, through my dolly. Push it, push it through, no? Too much. Christ, it's a fucking construction site. She said it was a work in progress. Lila, it's a wreck. The place is falling down. It's old, Trent. This isn't Beverly Hills. Is it safe to go inside? Thank you, sir. Hello? Anyone at home? Yeah, sorry. Miranda? We're here. Push it in a bit. Miranda? I'm coming! Ooh. It's a sec! Oh. It's working! Yes! Oh, you made it! Hey. Oh, so nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Hello, Trent. Um, Daisy, don't be shy. Come and say hello to your cousins. Hello, oh, Auntie Lila. Look at you. Oh, you <laughs> shut up. Oh. oh, don't touch the hair. <laughs> so how is the flight? Are you all feeling horribly jet-lagged? Flatbeds. Um, and this is Soon. She's on an exchange visit at B's school. Oh, hello, Soon. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun for her to experience an English Christmas. Well, I'm glad you'll be experiencing it with us. <laughs> and I didn't think you'd mind. Oh, don't be silly. The more the merrier. I've put you in your old room. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So where's Dan? Oh, don't tell me, he's still doing his Christmas shopping. How did you guess? He always leaves it to the last minute. Oh, talk of the devil. Oh, you must be joking. We'll be lucky if we see him before midnight. That must be Vicky. Vicky? I didn't know that she was coming. She split up with her boyfriend. Come on. Again? No, not that one, a new one. Come on. Come on. I thought it was just going to be family. She is family. She's still sister, for God's sake. Half-sister. They always were good with the waves and the strays. <sighs> Hi! Merry Christmas! Hi! 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 Lila, great to see you. 
I'm sorry it didn't work out with Brian. We all liked him. Uh, Bruce. Bruce, sorry. <laughs> but we finally got you solved. Uh, yeah. Um, sadly not. Still unsolved. Yeah. <laughs> oh, darling, I don't know how you do it. I'd forgotten how depressing it was. We love it. You do, don't you? You always did. I never understood it. I couldn't wait to get away. Do you want to see my rabbit? Oh, no, I'm allergic to animals. Hi, Tyler, do you mind sharing with the twins, boys? Take Tyler up and show him your room, OK? This way, Tyler. Where's Sue? Oh, I, I don't know. I think she went to the bathroom. I think I'm going to have to put her in with you. Is that all right? OK. Oh! oh. It's lovely. You like it? I can't get a signal. Oh, I used to hate this room. It was always so cold and grim. Oh, thank you. I'm touched. Don't be silly. No, I mean it. Miranda, babe, I, I can't get a signal. Oh, yeah, sorry, the connection's really bad. Next thing you're going to tell me you don't have internet. Oh, we don't, actually. We're too far away from the exchange. It's called broadband poverty. Are you serious? Yeah. It drives Dan crazy, too. Normally, we use dial-up, but there's been a problem with the connection because of all the rain. And they're working on it. <laughs> sorry. I, I try Walter. What the hell's going on here? He's fixing the plumbing, Dad. We've been having problems with the pressure. Is everything under control in here? You tell me. Pressure is good. Thank you, Magic. I'll tell Dan. I'm sure he'll be pleased. Sorry, I can't stay. I'm already late picking up Aunt Peggy. Well, Harry's still in bed. Why well, six o'clock? What do you want me to say? What are you going to talk to him? Well, you think he listens to me? Well, he certainly doesn't listen to me. Harry, it's me, Dad. No, I'm not staying. Just delivering the presents. Mm. Oh. God, it smells of weed in here. How are you going to get up? It's Christmas Eve. It's Dad, six o'clock. Please, I didn't get any sleep last night. Mm -hmm. You're really upsetting your mother, you know. Oh, please, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. That, that was brilliant. Bloody brilliant. I'm driving home for Christmas. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces. I'm driving home for Christmas, yeah. Well, I'm moving down that line. And it's You'd forgotten me. Driving home for Christmas. Aren't we going to be late? I'm sorry, Peggy. I've had a nightmare oh. day. Cheer up, darling. It's Christmas. Stop it, Bobo. It's only Dan. Now give me a hug. Oh, you gorgeous boy. Oh, I got red lights all around. But soon there'll be a freeway. Get my Will you be the person of the house? I'm sure. But who are all these people? From the village. Family tradition. Mum and Dad always invited everyone. Cool. Lila? It's not locked. They're all here. Are you coming down? No, I can't face it. I'm too jet lagged. I think it's important. 
Everybody's been incredibly supportive since. Mm. Well, I'm sure they won't miss me. I just think it looks rude. Besides, they see me all the time. You're the star attraction. Fine. I'll be down in five. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I've asked Uncle John to come for Christmas lunch. I hope you don't mind. Why should I mind? Jim Dobre. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Oh, God, I look like shit. Don't go far. One second, no. Trent there is somebody I would like you to meet. I'll be back in a second. You can go get to so many different places. Yeah. This is Trent, Lila's husband. I can't believe we've never met. How are you, dear boy? I'm well, Reverend. How are you? Oh, one soldier's on. Sorry about that. Match still on? Absolutely. What's this? Children in need. Oh, excellent. Everyone's been very generous. Keep up the good work. We will. How is the lovely Lila still taking Hollywood by storm? Uh, you bet. We always Excuse knew she'd me. go far with that one. We're all very proud of her. Speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Hello, Rico. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Mm, mm, I am well. How are you, too? How lovely to have you all here. Yes, happy Christmas. So... <laughs> Looks like they're still going strong. Told you not to worry. Vicky's here. Hope she's going to behave herself. Darling, don't you think you've got it? Oh, for goodness sake, I'm absolutely fine. Okay. Oh, I'm fine, please. Oh, Peggy. Oh, what, what a wonderful surprise. I'm so pleased you're here. How are you? Yes. You, you remember Verity, don't you? The vicar's breath is... is don't, it's, don't even. Well, don't, don't, even. don't even. You I just came I will pass out. Such a nice Do you want to help us count? Do I get a cut? You must be joking. We did all the work. Wicked! What is that? This is, like, really old. I can't believe you don't have it. We're not allowed video games. Mum says they're a bad influence. She says they make you stupid. Maybe she's right. <laughs> Come on! Get off me! <laughs> I think we've done our bit. We can go now. Get off him! Get off him! What are you doing? He's half your size! Come on! Honestly, what are you doing? Tyler? Trent, Trent. Tyler? Over. Hang on, son! Oh, I'm really sorry, Tyler. I didn't mean to hurt you. He hit me! What? Now, now, that's not true. He did what? Trent! Oh! He hit our boy. I find that hard to believe, Dan. You don't really think I... Look, he was, he was on top of Dylan. He, he couldn't breathe. Right. I pulled Tyler up before he suffocated. It's true. Is everything all right up here? Is that what happened, Tyler? <laughs> you, you really think I would hit a child? Not a child. Tyler. Tyler. I think there's been some kind of... I, I never said he... I never... God. I meant he hurt me. Look, I, I may have been a little rough. 
in the heat of the moment. But, but I apologise, didn't I, Tyler? Yes, Uncle Ben. I'm all right. It was an accident. Exactly. Don't know why you had to get involved, Dad. You're an idiot. I am so sorry, Dan, darling. It's OK. Twins, Tyler, come on, hug and make up. Oh. All right, friends now? Mm. Yeah. Happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas. My father always used to say you don't have to like someone just because you're related to them. I'm afraid there's some truth in that. Uh, not a very Christian sentiment I'm willing to concede. Thank you so much for coming, Vicar. Will we see you later? Malcolm! Oh, uh, of At course. At the service. Good. So dishy. Such a plain wife. Poor woman. Oh, God. Hmm? The cottage pie! What's wrong? I forgot to put the bloody pie in. Oh, can't you microwave it? We don't have a microwave. They're bad for you. I couldn't live without mine. But it killed all the nutrients. So what are we going to do for nutrients? It's nine o'clock already. Where's B? She went to bed. Jet lag. Where did you get this wonderful smoked salmon? Fortnum's emergency rations, thanks to Trent. I don't hear anybody complaining. Oh, you like moon, please? Oh, so what kind of movie? Uh, Why don't you start with the nuts? Yeah, that's that's what I said. Horrible movies, horrible mm. movies. I think she means horror movies. Oh, 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 finally! Um, this is soon. She's on an exchange visit with B, learning English. Oh, uh, uh, hello, soon. Hello. Welcome. Are you okay? Was it terrible? No, it was fun. I haven't laughed so much in years. There we go. The Father Christmas, in case he gets hungry. <laughs> See you in the morning. <coughs> what? Come on, guys, it's past 11. Mum says you have to go to sleep, otherwise Father Christmas won't come. Tyler, please, switch it off. It's almost over. Don't make me scream. Dan? I am so sorry. I was completely out of line. It's okay, Trent. All forgotten. Can we drink to that? I hope you don't mind. I opened a bottle of cognac. Oh, me cars are sick. I guess now's as good a time as any. 1962. Miranda's father left it me in as well. Cool. Oh, are you online? I'm uh, still down, I'm afraid. Cheers. Oh. So what's it like living here? Oh, it's great. It's great. Kids go to a really good local school. We don't go out, don't buy clothes. Life is so much simpler. I go nuts. Don't you miss London? Don't you, don't you miss being an architect? Well, not really. Well, yes, a bit. But if we can get the B&B &B going, and the organic vegetable business, and the farm shop. Organic vegetables. Oh, man. Well, I'm, I may be able to get something around here. Open a small practice, work from home. With no internet? What the hell was that? I'm oh, just Vicky putting the kids to bed. Listen, Dan, I know you never really liked me. No, that's not true. It's OK. But as long as we're still married to these two chicks, we're stuck with each other. So what I'm about to say is from the best of motives. The point, Trent? The point is, I think you've made a terrible mistake. Moving here, taking on this house, all of the unresolved issues, what issues? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I just think you're both gonna die of boredom. 
stuck out here in the country? Just because you and Lila can't stand to be alone for five minutes. Now, steady. The point is, Trent, I wasn't happy. We weren't happy, struggling to make ends meet. Then there's the kids' education. There's no way we could afford to go private. Life is so much better for them here in the country. Happy? What's happy? God, I don't know. You know when you're not. I'll tell you, happy. Happy's a flame red Porsche. <laughs> Happy's watching your kid hit a home run. Happy is a nice pair of. There you are. Shoes. Down there asleep. Oh, do I have to? If you don't want to, Trent will, won't you, Trent? Sure. Does it matter if I'm Jewish? I'll do it. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, ha. Say. They're gonna say, how come Father Christmas doesn't love us as much as Tyler? That's what they're gonna say. Don't tell me they still believe in Santa Claus. Yes, they do. Can't you tone it down a bit? And not give Tyler his presents. Well, maybe not all of them, all at once. Can't you put some of them under the tree? Or... Obviously, you haven't seen under the tree. Well, there's more. Don't blame me. Blame Lila. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Keep it down. You'll wake everyone up. We've got a problem with the presents. Can you come here for a second, please? I just think it's unfair on our kids. You can give Tyler whatever you want in the privacy of your own home. Why don't you just put more in the twin stockings? Then they won't have anything on Christmas Day. Well, what do you want me to do? Give Tyler's presents to the twins? Of course not. I just don't want it to look so obvious in the morning when they wake up. I'm sure Tyler won't mind getting a few of his presents later. It's something to look forward to. Fine. Whatever. Honey, why don't you Polaroid the ones you take out and put it in his stocking in case he gets disappointed? Well, that's a good idea. That's actually a very good idea. Do you know what? I'm going to bed. You sort it out. What, what about midnight carols? I promised the vicar. Oh, my God, that really is in the above and beyond category. Good night, everyone. See you. I'll be up in a bit, hon. Fifty presents in one duvet cover. Fifty-one. <laughs> Not a burn waste anymore. I'm sure they won't be out in their spotter planes on Christmas Day. You city folk. I'll be up in a minute, darling. Fix. No thanks.
I think it's crazy you going to London in the morning. I always go around on Christmas Day. Open Harry's presents with him. It's slightly different. No, we're not living in London. I'm not going to start disappointing him now. He's coming here on Boxing Day. That's not the point. He's not in a good way. I dropped by with his presents and he was still in bed at six o'clock. You went to Miriam's? And no wonder you were so late. I was there all five minutes. Poor Harry. Poor Miriam. How's she coping? Not very well. Oh, darling, I feel really bad. Her having to deal with it all on her own. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Vita, what's he been doing all day? Hi. You couldn't help but notice what a great ass you have. Really? Really? Yeah. Well, you know what? Not a good idea. Trent, hands off. Just testing. Yeah, well, go to bed, you fool. Okay, night, night. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mr. Reed. Yes. Good evening, sir. Do you know a Mr. Malinowski? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, how about a Mr. Wino Grodsky? <laughs> B, what the hell are you doing here? A real surgery, then. present, darling. Oh, hey, Dad. What's up? <laughs> we should, um, we'll just leave you to it. <laughs> He got drunk. It's Christmas. No, you don't understand. Trent gets drunk every night. He's an alcoholic. How could he hold down such a high-powered job if he was an alcoholic? Trent got fired. He doesn't have a job. What? He was losing clients left, right and centre. The agency agreed to keep him on if he could stay sober for six months. He can manage six days. Poor Trent. I'm so sorry. 
His mother founded that agency, didn't she? I know. It's humiliating. I mean, we're just about managing to keep afloat on my earnings from the show. But if the series doesn't get renewed... Well, when did this happen? September. He's been hoping to get Soon's father to invest in this movie fund he's hoping to put together. Really? Apparently he's a billionaire. His company builds half the sewers in China, and, and now he wants to get involved in the movie business. Well, that would be good, wouldn't it? Well, I'm not holding my breath. I mean, why would he choose Trump, for God's sake? I had no idea things were so bad. The point is, is that I'm thinking of moving back here to live without Trent. God. Well, it's assuming that the series doesn't get renewed. <laughs> Let's pray that it does. Not that it wouldn't be great to have you back from a selfish point of view. It's just that, you know, it's so complicated about where we live, the kids' schools. Well, you could always come back here. I don't think that would work. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. But we do need to talk about mum and dad, about the will, about everything. OK. Far away. Yeah, just not now. I mean, I'm sorry that I brought it up, but... <sighs> I have to go and get dressed. It's going to be a busy day. <laughs> Love you. Up yet. He's lying down on the sofa. Hey, Harry. Happy Christmas. Eh? What's up? What are you doing? I'm experiencing myself as inert matter. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Are you all right? Who are you? Well, come on, for God's sake, I'm here to open your presents. How do I know you're not a machine that's pretending to be my father? Harry, if you're trying to scare me, you're doing a really good job. Be down. <laughs> Could you be in the easel and peel some spuds? <laughs> potatoes. Peel some potatoes. Oh, sure. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Yes. Just grab potato and put it back, all right? Oh. Aim higher, Dylan! Fire! Oh. No fair! You've got water! <laughs> Talk shit. Come on! Quick, in here. Who is that? Trent? Of the bloody phone in that house. We're in the middle of cooking lunch. Well, he's trying to. I've got a real situation. What? There's no gas. Miranda. Miranda. Miranda, can you hear me? Is it, is it, Dan, the line's really bad and they want to talk at once. I, I'm going to go outside. Hold on. Yes, that's better. Harry's having a massive freak out. What do you mean? It's a skunk. He's completely psychotic. He thinks I'm a machine. I thought you'd give that up. I know. We're trying to get him into a clinic. This therapist is on the case now. 
I don't know what time I'll be back. But everyone's waiting for you to open the presents. Aunt Peggy's dead! Why is this so silly? She's making groaning noises. She's almost dead. What the hell's going on there? What's going on? Oh, Peggy. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh God. My <laughs> extensions, look! They're ruined! Oh, my ah! God. Oh. V-Tech! Jan! Anyone? What do you mean, gone? Gone. Departed. Fucked off. Never to return. Are you sure? Dan, they've gone. We're a pole-free zone. They must have panicked after the arrest. And now the oven's blown out and I've got no one to fix it. How am I going to cook gobbles? I'm sorry, I've got slightly more on my plate than the bloody turkey. Here we go. No, no, other way. Other way, that way. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure this is a good idea? You got a better one. Let your heart Next year. Oh god, there goes Trent's deal. All our troubles will be out of sight. Oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Ladies, Merry Christmas. I like the new look, Vix. What can I do to help? Can I open a bottle of champagne? Now that I can handle. <gasps> Where's Soon? B. What? You're looking after her. Soon's lying down. She wants to be left alone. Well, it's important you be nice to her. I am being nice. No, no, I mean it. It's about showing respect. I am showing re What are you talking about? Can we open the presents now? Please, Mum. Wait till your dad gets back. When? Later. Oh! Happy Christmas, everyone! Oh, what needs doing? Nothing. It's all done. Well, I can't all be done. Wait, you could put the sprouts on while I get dressed. Okay. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. Ah, yeah, those are herbal. He has sleeping problems. I'm sorry, we take away all their props. Or even books. Even books. Yeah. I suppose you know what you're doing. I'll have that too, please. My fan? Yes, please. No, but I can't, I can't sleep without it. Can't you make an exception? It's not like it's a pill or a drug or anything. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. I'd have to have it safety checked by an electrician. Well, OK, check it then. Mr Reed, it's Christmas Day. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. Please don't raise your voice, Mr Reed. I'm not raising my voice. This is raising my voice! Is everything OK in here? Would you take the patient through, please? If you just follow me, sir, and if you come along quietly. Not me, for God's sake, it's my son! Christmas. Lila, my <laughs> darling, lovely as ever. Oh, if only that were true. <laughs> this is David, everybody, my personal assistant. Hello, David. Uncle John, you're early. No, my dear, I'm on time. La politesse des rois. 
<laughs> In this house, that probably means you're 24 hours too early. Friends! I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, How wonderful you're all here. Oh, Peggy, what a lovely surprise. Oh, hardly. I'm here every year. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Come in, come in. Oh, 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 I hate to ask, but how soon is lunch? You know how Mr. Fitzgerald has to have his meals on time. Sorry, we've got to eat. He's about to go low blood sugar on me. Lunch is ready. Oh. Oh, God. Is he dead? He's fine. He just needs his medication. Miss anything? Lunch, for example? Everybody's starving. We almost lost Uncle John. He went low blood sugar on us. I'll be there in ten minutes. Hurry! I'm going as fast as I can. Start without me. No, just get here. Everybody, please, sit down before it gets cold. I'm starving. I don't know. Let's want to eat some food. Sorry, the waiting point still is getting a bit. Oh, it's Dan. Finally, Dan's here. Trent, Trent, he's here. Poor Harry. We were just in time to carve. God, you're ruthless. Yeah, sorry, I really am. We'll talk about it later, but we've got a house full of starving guests. Right. Come on. Oh. Sorry, everybody. Oh. Sorry. Desi, Desi, when are we going to open the prison? Not now, Desi. As soon as we finish lunch, I promise. But it's night Hello, time. Uncle John. God's sake, come and get something to eat, dear boy. Where's Sue? Oh, she didn't feel like eating. You don't say. Right. Oh, yes, please. Okay, where's the bird? Coming, I'm sorry it's late. It's just, it's just what happened to the, the turkey. Don't even go there. I'm not hungry anymore. Anyway. Please tell me that's not a turkey. Gobbles? Yeah. Darling, that's what happens to turkeys. We always knew. You killed Gobbles. What? Ow! Oh, I hate you! Daisy, oh, stop God. it! Right. Does it? I'm so sick of being the bad cop in this house. Ow, oh, you're pulling my hair! No. Child abuse! Child <laughs> abuse! Boys! No. I'm just going to have a little talk with Daisy, explain some of the facts of life. What does that mean? Daisy, where are we going? It's a surprise. Daisy, can you keep a secret? I think so. You've got to promise me not to say anything to Mummy. You mean lie? Yes, darling, that's exactly what I mean. to be brief. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sad occasion and a happy one. Sad because it's the first Christmas in this house without Ron and my dear sister June. Happy because 
they would have been so thrilled mm. to see all the family yeah. gathered yeah. here yeah. celebrating yes. Christmas yeah. in this house they love so much. Yeah. So, Dan Miranda, thank you for making this Christmas so special with all your hard work. <laughs> and Lila Trent, thank you for making the long journey to be with us today. <laughs> Call me a sentimental old fool, but uh, it means so much to me to see your wonderful children, B and Tyler, discovering their roots, bonding with their English cousins. <laughs> so, it's been a wonderful lunch, Miranda. As they say, all good things come to he who waits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the house and you got the investments. That was what we agreed with Mum and Dad. The will said that everything should be equal. The investments have gone, Miranda. What do you mean, gone? There's nothing left. Can't you explain, Uncle John? Unfortunately, your father put all the money into one of those hedge funds. Now, I advise them against it, but um, anyway. <clears throat> the fund's been wiped out every penny. I'm really sorry, but... We've put everything we have into this house, everything we got from selling London. <laughs> what do you expect me to say? I'm in a crisis. My marriage is shit, my career is shit. Uh, I need the money, I just do. I mean, obviously, I'll pay back everything that you've put in. What do you want us to do? Sell? This isn't just a house, Lila. It's our childhood. And I want it to be my children's childhood, too. I know that doesn't mean anything to you. Well, can't you take out a loan? We've already borrowed up to the hill. The bank's calling every other day. Well, I don't expect to get paid right away. When, then? Oh, I don't know. Six months? What would be the situation if the investments had gone up instead of down? <sighs> would you be giving me a share of the profits? So the answer's no. You're just going to keep everything for yourself. Oh, that is so unfair. You want us to move out of our home, but you're the one we're supposed to feel sorry for. Oh, God, you're being ridiculous. I mean, this whole lifestyle. Who are you kidding, huh? I mean, look at you. No makeup, your hair's a mess. <laughs> How long do you think Dan's going to stick around? He hates the bloody country. Well, what would you know? You can't stand anyone else being happy just because you're married to a raging alcoholic drug addict. Girls, oh. girls, this isn't getting us anywhere. The thing is that Lila does have a point. The, the terms of the will are quite explicit. The intention is, and always has been, that you both end up with an equal share. And clearly, that's no longer the case. So nice to see you, Uncle John. I don't think he can hear us. What are they? Should we go get the gym? I don't know about you guys, but I am bushed. I hit the sack. Come on, boys. Daisy, sleep. Even Uncle Trent's going to bed now. Oh, what about the presents? No, it's far too late. You promised. You need to be off for the match in the morning. Mom, well, it's not Trent, fair. Trent, you play, won't you? Just take one to bed. Sucker. I really won? That's really mean. Yeah, we always play the village on Boxing Day. Another of those quaint old family traditions? Yes, yeah, I'm afraid so. We need you, pal. This is the worst Christmas ever. And the Poles buggered off. They took half our team. The best half. <laughs> I mean, she went ballistic. She started yelling at Uncle John. I, I've never seen her so worked up. She see the logic? <laughs> it's not about logic, Trent. They've spent all the money from selling the house in London doing this place up. And it's still a wreck. They have a huge overdraft and they think that they're going to make the whole thing work by selling vegetables. <laughs> Don't forget the goat's milk. <laughs> it's insane. Dan doesn't even have a job anymore. Well, that makes two of you. I mean, I feel really bad about it, but I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to 
go to sleep. Come on, baby, be nice. Did you just take Viagra? No. I know you did. Please. No means no, Trent. It's Christmas. This is my favorite place. Not just because you can get a friggin' phone signal. Cool. Magic showed me. It's our secret. But you can't tell anyone. OK, I understand. Thanks. You going to be OK? You, you feeling better? Yes, I better now. OK. Go to bed. Under control. Come on, you must have a hell of a day. Okay, you wash. I'll dry. You must be so worried about Harry. Stuck here in the country. Listen, do you want me to have a word with him? I do know a thing or two about substance abuse. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I may take you up on that, actually. And we're not stuck here, by the way. We're here of our own free will, believe it or not. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Oh, sorry, I thought you were asleep. I've got some really bad news. Some water. Well, there's water in the bathroom. Clean water. The water in the bathroom is brown. No thanks. It's from a well. Organic. Yeah? What if there's a dead rat in the water tank? If there's only one rat in this house, and he's very much alive. Well, I think rats get bad PR. A rat never changes its spots. I think you mean a leopard. No, <laughs> not in this case, I don't. Can you let me by, please? Would you? What if I say no? I'll scream. And wake everybody up. John actually say? Nothing. He was completely on her side. Oh, she always was the favourite, the pretty one, the clever one, the star. I mean, this is a disaster. We're totally screwed. I can't believe you didn't tell me what it said in the will. Dan, I didn't know the fun was going to go bust. I'm really sorry. Yeah, so am I.
Sorry. It wasn't for me, Dad. I'm sorry. I really don't think I'm an addict. That's what they all say. I smoke too much weed. I have to stop. It's no great mystery. Yes, but can you stop? I think so. But all my friends smoke. I don't know how I can keep on seeing them. Well, maybe you need to make some new friends. That's not so easy, is it? I just want you to know I'm sorry. What for? That it didn't work out with me and Mum. Obviously, I can't help feeling if, if we'd stayed together. Then there'd be no Dylan, no Bobby, no Daisy. It's OK, Dad. It'll be all right. But you are going back after the holidays. I really think it's a waste of time, Dad, and, and money. I mean it. You better call your mother, let her know where you are. I'll phone the clinic before Nurse Ratchet comes looking for you. What are you doing? Vicky! I couldn't sleep. Actually, I was thinking of heading off. Yeah. Avoid the traffic. Well, what about the football? You're one of our star players. Really? I'm counting on you, Vix. England expects. Come on, Everton. Let's do this. Come on, team. doing up there? Come on! The game's about to start. Nasty, horrid gums. Come on, boys! Come on, Harry! Fans, it's only a game. That's right, Harry. Don't take it to heart. It's a dumb fucking game, if you ask me. Sliced England under Roy Hodgson. Where's the Neverton fighters? It's not the attitude. You're letting these losers walk all over you. Dad, is that supposed to make us play better?
Come on, Rev, I should have been a red. Yeah, okay. Are you okay, Labels for your thank you letters. We will. Oh, shouldn't we be waiting for Lila? She said to start without her. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, Dan, how absolutely beautiful, you dear, dear boy. <laughs> um, sorry, hold on, everyone. Who's been at the presents? It was Daisy. She was trying to open them all. No, I wasn't. Hey, she were. Hey, hey, you hey, made hey, all the labels fall off. No, me. I didn't. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, Peggy. This Your one's for you. Well, really? Happy Christmas, darling. Dan, I didn't know you cared. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Vicky, this is for you. Thanks. I thought it was so you. Really? So you. You can change it if you want. No, I love it. I thought we agreed we weren't going to give each other proper presents. I know, but I love you. I love you. Here you are. Have a girlfriend in Poland. Yeah, I promise. Or a boyfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. Right, that does it. Dad, what the hell are you doing? I might very well ask the same of you. Lila, we put our heart and soul into this place. I really didn't mean to ruin your Christmas. Well, you have. You could at least have waited. Uh, okay, when? When would be a good time to tell you that my entire life is falling apart? It's always about you, isn't it? It always has been. I don't think you're being very fair. You've got Dan. You're happy. My life is hell. <laughs> well, maybe we get the life that we deserve. I can't believe she just said that. I can. What is your problem? You've got a fucking nerve after last night. You, watch your fucking mouth. Mom! Where are you, Mom? You wouldn't dare. Mom! Hey, please. She'll fire me. Is that what you want? Fire you? Divorce me. Fire me. Both. Good. It's what you deserve. 
B. 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 Hey! B. B. You have every reason to be angry. We were drunk. It didn't mean anything. We were stupid. I know it doesn't help, but I am truly, truly sorry. Slot. Open the door, Mom. Go away, please. Please, I need to speak to you. Oh, terrible migraine. It was a really bad migraine. Do you want to make it worse? Mom! Think about the consequences. Guys, please, I just want some me time. Mom! Think about Tyler. Tyler's a brat. Maybe she's right. Maybe this whole thing is a ridiculous idea. You don't even like the country. Ah, oh, so it's my fault. I should have known. Don't be stupid. That's not what I'm saying. The stupid thing was getting into this without proper legal advice. You completely misrepresented the situation. How? How did I misrepresent the situation? You said the house was yours. I thought it was. That's what it said in the will. But apparently it isn't. That's what's called misrepresenting the situation. Mm. I suppose we could always move in with Miriam. Very funny. OK, but there are going to have to be some changes. You got it. I need a new car. Right. I hate my school. OK. OK. And I want to stay here for a while with Annie Miranda after you've gone. I'll explain later. Oh, what the hell happened? What's going on? Karen. how could you? I was drunk. I'm not proud of myself. I haven't told you the worst part. Vsauce. What? She caught us. In the loo. You mean... Yes! Do I have to draw a diagram? Actually, well, not... Quite actually, but almost actually. Oh, God, please, please don't tell Dad. I feel so, I feel so ashamed. Why does, why does this always happen to me? Because you're beautiful and sexy and absolutely desirable. I'm a joke. Please don't go. If you leave now, then everyone's going to know what happened, including Lila. Hello? <laughs> what are you doing here? I never thought I'd see the day. I've come to get home. <laughs> You they leave the clinic. You promised. You promised oh. that you would give it a go. Oh, for, oh, for oh. Christ's sake! Mum! Harry! Honestly, it's no big deal. Look, it's just an old brooch from the last time I was here. How could you be so stupid? No, no, that's it. There's no more. No, that is not that is not the point. You you can't do this anymore, Harry. You 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 just can't do this anymore. Dan! Miriam's here! What? Where? Dan! Dad, are you coming? I'm coming. Dad, go. 
I'm sorry. I'm, I don't oh know what. You're making it worse. You're literally fanning the flames. Thanks. That's really helping. So you're just going to carry on doing it? Harry, how could you? Harry, come back! Harry! Can't you tell he's upset? They've already started painting the room. That's all you care about, isn't it? What? Don't be so ridiculous. Look, I am not the bad guy! Harry! Harry! I'm not! Harry? Hi. OK if I come with you? Yes, yeah, sure. Wait, are you on your own? of the turkey. A walk? A walk. A walk. Walk. Oh, a walk. A walk. Um, what, we've got a large frying pan, if that's any good. Oh, well, that'll have to do, I suppose. Can we get rid of the chicken from the food preparation area? It's basically a petri dish with feathers. It's, it's not just salmonella you can get. No, it's um, <laughs> salmonella, campylobacter, listeria, E. coli, histoplasmosis, mostly. Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. Actually, I I'm not actually joking. You should probably have special chicken clothes if you want to cover it. This is a cool place. Yeah. Hey, you can forget everything up here. Forget? You want to forget? Oh, it it's, it's just an expression. Relax. Relax. Ah, yeah. relax. <laughs> yes, I like relax. <laughs> Tech and the guys are brought. Really? What is it? You don't want to know. It's probably illegal. And if it isn't, it ought to be. No sign of him. Not yet. I'm sure he'll show up. I'm really not worried. <laughs> no, you never are. Come on, guys, let's go have a drink. How could you let him discharge himself just when we finally got him into a clinic? Miriam? <laughs> He's over 18. He can do what he <laughs> likes. What do you think I had anything to do with it? <laughs> Always going for the easy option. What Harry needs now, more than ever, is a strong father. You know, maybe if we just made a bit less of a fuss over Harry, he might be a lot better for it. I'm sorry, what is that supposed to mean? It means that maybe he's a lot less fragile than we think. If we keep treating him like a basket case, then that's what he'll be, a basket case. Excuse me, I live with him. I don't think you know what you're talking about. No, of course I don't. Bobo, will you leave that bloody thing alone? It's none of my business, but I don't think any of this is helping. Much as I know that vacuous clichés of new age psychobabble, codependent is probably the word I'm looking for. <gasps> Ow! Oh, you Ow! shit! Ow! You shit for brains! Ow! You deserve it! The woman's completely mad. You did ask why. I did not. Did I? It was a little insensitive. God. Should I apologise? Dare he say that I'm a bad mother? He, of all people! Ah, good then. Not of going to the law, I'm a lot, eh? Yes. Sorry. 
Had a side accident. Walked into my ex-wife. Now you feel better. Ah. Priority. Cheers. Is them Kaisali? Inhale. Nice. Do you like music? Yes. What kind of music? All music. Oh, you must have a favourite. I like. Fly and Ferry. Very much. Who? Fly and Ferry. Brian Ferry? Are you serious? I love Brian Ferry. Slave in love. <laughs> Slave to love. I have? Yeah? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> See that. <laughs> How are you doing, Harry? I'm good. I'm okay, thanks. You look like you're very okay. Well, yeah, I am very okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trapped in the 20th century for the last 48 hours, and all I had to do was climb up this goddamn ladder. <laughs> Once you realise that, everything kind of takes care of itself. <sighs> Why? You're so right. They are good for one thing. Yeah. One thing only. Actually, I, I don't think they're even particularly good for that. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Stop. At once. Oh. Now you've said that, it's all become very clear. Have you ever had a girlfriend? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Lila! Lila! They're renewing the series. I got your money, 125 an episode. <gasps> Are you sure? sure? I'm sure. I got the emails. Oh, Jack! Oh, thank God! Thank God! Oh, my God, that's brilliant! That's fantastic! We are safe. Baby, come here. Daddy's got you. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. <gasps> you promise? I promise. I really do love you. You know that, don't you? I think so. I really don't want to lose you. Oh, Trent, you're hurting me. This is Harry. He's very cute. Say hello to my sister, Erica. Erica? Hi. I'm Harry. Hi, Harry. I'm Harry. You're Harry. You're a friend of a friend. Don't laugh. I'm just a friend of mine. How can I be my friend? 
。你讲咩嘢？你搞咩鬼啊你？冇嘢。咩事冇嘢？同你一齐嗰个男仔系边个嚟嘅？冇人。诶、呃，一个人。冇人仲要啊？你嘅行为古古怪怪喎、啊。你系咪饮过酒嚟？冇啊。阿 Trent 喺边度啊？我有嘢同佢讲。唔可以，佢唔喺度。唔喺度？咩意思啊？佢喺楼下。楼<笑>下？边度楼下？<笑>你饮醉啊？唔系啊，爸，我食咗大麻。Sorry, everybody. I just have a, I just have a brief announcement. Lila's series got picked up for a whole other season. Fantastic! Congratulations! That's amazing. Soon， 你喺边啊？即刻出嚟！哦、oh. oh. 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 ，去执嘢，真系冇办法。喂喂喂喂喂，人走。Mr. Wang, Bernie, I think you're overreacting here. You, very disrespectful. Oh God, Bernie, can we talk about this tomorrow? Please, it's honestly not such a big deal. Job, Harry. I think you made a bit of a hit there. Do you really think so? Without a doubt. She's a very special girl. You're a lucky guy. I'm sorry I messed up your movie deal. Uh, forget it. <laughs> Never thought he'd come through. It's kind of a relief if you really want to know. I've been thinking about your situation, both our situations, in fact. 
I've got a proposal for you. Really? Will you hear me out? And then you can say yes, or you can say no. Just get the family that you choose can sometimes be more important than the family that you're given. I feel a real closeness to all of you guys. Thank you, Trent. I'm sure the feeling's reciprocated. I mean, it is reciprocated. Yes, of course it is. Particularly this young man. I think I can identify with some of the issues he's dealing with, God knows. Uh, we had a long talk last night, didn't we, Harry? Yeah, we did. In short, Miriam, Dan, I want you to lend me your son. I think I can help him, and he can almost certainly help me. Um, Trent's asked me to go with him to America. Uh, there's this great clinic in Arizona, and we're gonna do it together. What, do, you, I mean, do you have any idea how much those places cost? Oh, Dan, please, it's on us. I talked about it with Lila last night. I mean, you'd actually be doing me a favor by letting Harry come with me. Well, that's incredibly generous, Trent, but we, we couldn't possibly let you pay him. Okay, can I, can I just say something? Strictly entre nous? The series is a piece of crap. I mean, really excremental. But it pays a shitload of money. Let's put some of those ill-gotten gains to good use. Shall we? Thank you for everything. <laughs> it's been great. And don't worry about the house. I'm sure we can work something out now that the pressure's off. <laughs> Thank you. And please, don't you worry about B. Oh. You get B, we get Harry. Well, maybe we can do a better job with each other's kids. Oh, I love you. Love you. And when the internet's back up, follow me on Instagram. Bye. Look, I can never thank you enough. <sighs> and I'm sorry it didn't work out with Mr. Wang. You know, there's the important stuff, and then there's the important stuff. <laughs> right? Right. Go on, Trent. We survived. We live to fight another Christmas. Next year, same time, same place. More than welcome to come to us in the meantime. Oh, and uh, I'll send you some goat's milk. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. 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 Lovely time. Thank you. Thank you, dear boy. My pleasure. Oh. Take care. And you. Harry! Oh, Harry. Thanks for giving the old girl a lift. Uh, okay. And thanks for, um, black eye. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> no, really, for everything. I know it hasn't been easy dealing with it all on your own. No, it hasn't. And I'm sorry that I have apparently made such a hash of it. You haven't, actually. We're going to deal with it together, OK? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Drive safe. <sighs> sure this is what you want? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I'm going to make it work this time. I know you will. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Harry. <laughs> I am. Take care of yourself, OK? Yeah. See you soon.
Sam? What is it? I could have sworn I just saw gobbles. Impossible. Never, ever again. You say that every year. No, I mean it this time. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's nice. I just want to say thank you. What for? For working so hard, for making it work. For Christmas. I thought you hated Christmas. Uh, this was one of the better ones mm. in the end. <laughs> it's actually rather great. Credit where credit's due. Don't be silly. We all made it work. <laughs> you know, this is the first time we've been alone. Properly alone. So, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Good idea. Mm. <laughs>